What's going on guys, my name is Michael. In today's video, I wanted to show you a few of my favorite apps that have been updated for iOS 14 that allow you to add widgets to the home screen. So you may have seen a few videos, and by a few videos, I mean a plethora of videos online, and a few of them have even been trending, that let you get this really cool aesthetic look on your iOS 14 home screen. And some of those can be a little bit confusing, and uh, probably most of you that update your phone to iOS 14 really don't wanna change the complete look of your iPhone home screen set. Up. There are some setups that allow you to go completely crazy and can even change your app icons. So we're not going to do that in this video. Instead, I'm just going to show you seven of my favorite applications that allow you to simply add widgets to the home screen that can let you see a little bit more information at a glance. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first application is called Color Widgets. Now you can see I have added one at the top of my home screen here. This is kind of a, uh, a Halloween style one. If we open up the application here, we have a whole bunch of preset widget styles. Unfortunately, they are all kind of this exact same style where you have the time in a big font in the background and then you have the day and the date in the bottom left corner. Hopefully in a future update, they can let you edit this. But for now, all we have are these preset options. So let's add this one right here and we'll set that as our widget. And then if you already have it added to your home screen, it'll update in real time. But if you don't have any widgets for the application added to your home screen to get it added, now this will work for all your apps. To get it added, all you have to do is go into wiggle mode, click the plus icon on the top left, and then you can find it here on your list of widgets. So right here, color widgets, you can see a preview of your small, medium and large size widgets. Now this is a glitch I've been seeing in the application. It doesn't show the proper preview of the medium size widget, but as soon as you hit add, it'll update and it'll be the proper widget. So uh, just keep that in mind. The app has to be updated to fix some of the glitches, but it's still pretty cool that we can get this custom look on our home screen now with iOS 14. So this next app is called Widget Smith, and this is the number one free app on the app store right now, which is pretty cool. And it's uh, for a good reason, because there is so much information you can get with this application. You can get so much uh, different types of data displayed on your widgets on your home screen uh, for free with widget smith so it's pretty cool you can see here i have the week number but there are so many different widget styles i have two small size widgets and a medium and a large size one let's go ahead and add a small one just for fun here you can click on it to edit it click on it again and you can see all the different things that you can edit so you can have different versions of the time you can have different versions of the date you can have a custom text you can have calendar events and reminders. And then this is when it starts to get paid. So if you wanna view the weather, you have to pay to upgrade to the premium version of the app. You can view your activity and your step count for free, but if you wanna view the current tide, so I guess if you live near the ocean and you're surfing a lot, this would be useful, uh, you would have to pay to view the tide. So if you wanna view the tide, and if you wanna view the weather on your home screen, I guess you have to upgrade to the premium version. So other than that though, you get all of this customization for free. So let's choose this clock style, and then maybe let's choose a different uh, color. So let's choose red and then we'll save that. So to add this to our home screen, it's a little bit different than the previous application. So press and hold, go into wiggle mode, click the plus icon, and we're gonna find Widget Smith. Now, as you can see, unlike color widgets, the previous app I showed you, there is no preview of the widget. Instead, you have to add it to your home screen, and then you have to press and hold on the widget, click edit widget, and then you can choose the one you want. So the one we just added was called number three, and as soon as we change that, you can see, I don't know why it didn't update. Didn't I just make that into a clock? Yeah, so it looks like it's glitching out a little bit. I changed this to a red clock, and that's my number three widget. Oh, there we go, it just updated. So as you guys can see, uh, I've been filming this video for quite a while here, and I've encountered so many bugs, and every time it happens, I try to uh, take my camera down and restart shooting the entire thing, but um, iOS 14 and the widgets, uh, as you can see, are pretty buggy still, and I've tried to reshoot this video so many times to get it to show you without the bugs, but I guess I just have to live with it. It's gonna be a little bit buggy until Apple updates uh, to future versions of iOS 14, and as these developers have to update their app. But it still works pretty well, as you can see. I'm just still amazed that we can have this level of customization on our iOS home screen. Okay, so this next one is pretty cool. On the top left of my phone, you can see there, there's a photo of me and Dustin Johnson. This was pretty cool. I got to meet him. If you don't know who he is, he's probably one of the best golfers in the world. And I got to meet him in Hawaii about a year ago. So uh, it's pretty cool that I can have this right on my home screen. And I was able to do this using a photo widget. So all you have to do is download the application and click plus. You get a maximum of 30 photos that you can add. Simply allow access to all your photos, choose the photo you want, and then you can set it as a widget. So it's pretty cool that you can have a 
photo on your home screen uh, on iOS 14. And you can add as many as you want. So you can load up your entire home screen with your favorite photos. So the three applications I just showed you were mainly focused on bringing customizable widgets to your home screen. But now the last four apps I wanna show you are regular apps that are on the App Store that now have just been updated for iOS 14 that now happen to support widgets on the home screen thanks to this update. So the first one is Weatherline. Now, if this didn't have widgets on the home screen, it would still be my favorite weather app uh, simply because of how much data it offers in such a, uh, a nice sleek interface. But now Weatherline now has a really nice widget. So I have it here on my main home screen. You can see there it gives you the weather in a really cool line style for the next four hours. So you can see if the weather is gonna be going up or down significantly in a really nice glanceable widget. And now it can go a little bit further. If you press and hold on the widget and click edit, you can change the background. So I have it set to dynamic background, which uh, tries to match the way uh, Apple does it with the system. But if we wanna have uh, kind of a different look, we can choose Funfetti. Let's see what that looks like. So it looks like that one is just white with green text. I don't think I like that one as much. So we're gonna go ahead and change that back to dynamic background and then it'll match the background to whatever the weather is outside. So Weatherline is a fantastic weather app. You do have to pay for it, but in my opinion, it is worth every penny. This next one is really simple. It is by Apollo. Apollo is the third-party Reddit client. So for those of you who use Reddit and you just wanna view a recent post from your timeline, this is gonna be pretty cool. So if you go to Apollo in your widgets view, you can choose it right here. And then you can choose between a small, medium, and large size widget. There really isn't a difference between these widgets because as you can see, if I add the large size widget, it's only gonna be showing one post. And then if I add the small size widget, it's also only gonna be showing a single post. So I don't really know what the point of the large size widget is. It'd be nice if they could maybe show three or four posts inside this huge widget. But let's remove that from my home screen because I don't want Trump on my home screen. There, let's take that off. But now you can see here, I have the Reddit, uh, single link to a Reddit post on my home screen. And then as soon as I click on it, it'll take me to that post and I can view the comments. And then this will update throughout the day and it'll show a different post if you've already read that one. So uh, this is pretty cool for those of you who are Reddit users. So we're down to the last two applications now, and I'm gonna show you these together because they are so simple and you can't really do much with each of them. They are Pedometer and Google. And pretty much just for me telling you what they are, that's pretty much what the widgets are going to do. The Pedometer is gonna show you how many steps and Google is going to let you do a Google search. That's pretty much it. I have the Google widget added to my main home screen right here. I kind of like this. It kind of makes my iPhone feel a little bit more uh, like an Android phone, which I've been uh, tinkering with a little bit, but uh, that's kind of cool. It makes my phone have a little bit more of an Android feel. I just kind of wish we could get rid of this dead space underneath and only have the search bar. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool to be able to click in uh, to Google and search with only a tap. So that's Google and Pedometer is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, not that bad looking of a widget. It just kind of sits on your home screen and shows you how many steps and how many floors you've climbed. So it looks like I gotta get moving today because I've only walked 749 steps as I've been uh, sitting in the house all day making this video for you guys. Uh, so yeah, Pedometer is pretty cool and it lets you get a nice glimpse of how many steps you have been walking that day. Boy, I know I've said it multiple times in this video, but I never thought this is what my home screen would look like after iOS 13. Everyone was complaining on iOS 13 how the iPhone is so boring, all you have are the icons on your home screen, and then just a year later with iOS 14, we get this huge update that lets us completely customize whatever we want on our home screen, and we can remove pages that we don't want by clicking down here, and then all the apps that live on our phone are now in the app library on the far right side of all your screens. So uh, iOS 14, I don't wanna get started because I could talk for days, but iOS 14 is such an amazing update. I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you have any applications that support third-party widgets that you use that are your favorites. I wanna hear what you guys have to say down below. So guys, thank you for watching. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next video.